homeschool moms I am back with another unboxing video in this video we're going to be looking at all of the curriculum from BJU press that we are going to be using in the next school year now just like my unboxing video yesterday we already unboxed everything we were so excited and I shared that unboxing on Instagram it was really just my three-year-old son pulling stuff out and throwing it around the room and his um, siblings kind of coming and pulling out what was theirs and looking through it. So this is just all of the curriculum. I've got it piled up back here. I've got some over here in front of me and I'm just gonna be sharing with you what came in that box from BJU Press. Now, a couple things before I dive in and just show you some of the stuff that we're gonna be using next year, I don't have here because it didn't come with our um, shipment that we got for this next year because it's curriculum from BJU Press from last year that we're continuing to use in the coming school year. One of those is Math 6. I did grab this and bring it up. Um, my sixth grader finished a different math curriculum and we decided to move into math six and we are gonna be continuing that into next year. So we're gonna keep going with that. Obviously there was other stuff that came with this besides this textbook, but I brought it up just to let you, as a reminder to myself, to let you know that there was some other curriculum um, that I'm not showing here from BJU that we'll be using again next year. Also English and reading. Um, we are gonna finish up in the first half of next year stuff that we didn't get to um, this last year, which I love about homeschooling, right? Nobody said that you have to finish a certain curriculum at the end of each school year. We move at our kids' pace and the pace that works the best for them, and if we need to keep going the following school year, we can do that. And actually, we're, we use BJU Press Distance Learning, and they've set it up so that I can do that. I can continue into the next year because when I use the uh, distance learning online option, I have to, from July 1st, of that school year all the way around to December 31st of the following school year. So we already use curriculum um, all one school year and we have till December of this next year to um, finish it up. So I love that because sometimes it takes our kids more than one school year to get through a curriculum and that's okay. That's the beauty of homeschooling. All right, I've got a little off topic here going, going off on some encouragement with um, homeschooling and stuff, but let's jump in to what we got in our box from BJU Press. Okay, the first thing in my pile here is Math 5. This is the student textbook or workbook, I guess, that they would work through. Um, again, I, I love that it's in color and we are using this with the distance learning program. So it also came with a parent facilitator um, guide here that just shows um, if you're not familiar with this it tells you I know you can't see it very well here but it does tell you on each day what video they need to watch um, what chapter it's covering um, what materials they need what text you know workbook text page and the assignment that they need to finish and any um, it says facilitator instructions so anything we need to do as parents um, because we're using distance learning online I actually don't use this because all this information is also online for me and so um, I love that and so I just go online and do that it's a lot easier it also our box came with the student handouts for math 5 I know that looks like a lot of handouts in addition to this. So I'm just gonna offer a little bit more encouragement here. If you have not seen my video on how to um, modify BJU Press Distance Learning, go watch that video. One of the things that I encourage you to do is if you don't think a handout or a work text page is beneficial for your student and it's just gonna be busy work, rip it out, crumble it up, and throw it away. That is okay to do. This is another benefit of homeschooling that we can pick and choose what we think is going to be good for our kids to do. And if you think it's busy work or useless or pointless, we don't have to have them do that. That being said, um, the handouts are a great resource because if your child is struggling with something in, um, 
you know, out of the work text page. This has some more reinforcement. It also has additional, like, um, some kind of activities that they do in the distance learning videos to help reinforce the concepts. Um, I believe it also has, like, um, at least in some of the other handouts that we've gotten for some of the other math grades, it had, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, um, division, kind of, um, what am I thinking of? You know, so that they can practice their math facts is what I'm trying to say. So a lot of great stuff in here, but you definitely do not have to use it all. The other thing that we got is the student manipulative packet for fourth through sixth grade. So this one packet can be used for all of these grades. And so this is just something that you actually, if you don't know what it is, well, let me tell you. It has different, um, this is, well, first I should say this is like thick, glossy cardstock like these are thick and durable and it's just things that you would rip out so you you literally would rip out this page just like that and they have things whoop, that you would punch out here so some of these would actually be punched out i don't know if i can do it on camera but um here's some numbers here so those you could you just punch those out and you'd organize them for your student to you so kind of give you a little flip through, but they've got lots of helpful um, manipulatives in there for your student and they're really colorful. So that's always, um, you know, a nice thing to have for our kids. All right, so that was all the stuff for Math 5. Let me set that down. Next thing that we got, before I get to that stack back there, um, Math 3. My third grader is going to be doing BJU Press Math with the distance learning program. So she is going to be working through this workbook. I also got the video lesson um, facilitator guide. And um, like I said, I will probably not even look at this because I am doing it the online option and that is online, but it's nice that they have that for you because maybe you want your kids to work online, but you still like paper. <laughs> then you've got it right here for you. Maybe that's easier for you when you're lesson planning. Maybe you like to do your lesson planning while your kids are playing at the park or at some sports activity or extracurricular thing that they're doing and you bring your stuff along and you don't wanna to have to get online. Um, you know, that's nice to have. Um, it also comes with tests and, let's see, this is the answer key for the tests and these are uh, Math 3 tests. Let me just point out that uh, math 5, I do not have the test for because I'm doing the online version um, option. The tests um, for fifth grade math are done online. They're taken online. But third grade is still done on um, paper. So we've got the tests and the uh, answer key. And I'm just going to tell you something again. Third grade, I do not give tests. So we will not be using these unless my student needs more reinforcement on a particular topic. Man, I'm having a hard time talking. If she needs more work and we're, we don't get it out of the handouts, which is the next thing I was gonna show you, if we can't get extra work in here, then sometimes I use the tests just as extra practice or reinforcement. These are also, if you're not gonna use these as tests during the school year, these are great to keep and use through the summer just to review with your student. And so that's another thing that I sometimes use the tests for. Um, I don't wanna just throw them away. I, I paid for them, um, but I wanna use, uh, I can use these in the summer as reinforcement. And just full disclosure, I did purchase all of the BJU Press um, curriculum myself, except for um, biology. And I will talk about that in a minute. I did get that for free in exchange for a review, but I did buy the bi biology logos lab kit with my own money. So just full disclosure. And then you get the um, student uh, math manipulatives packet. So same kind of thing, nice hard ca um, card stock, you know, kind of a gloss to it, and you just punch all those out. Just fun stuff for our kids, right? To do colorful, more hands-on using manipulatives to help them understand the math concepts better. So that is everything that was in the pile right here. Now I have to go get that pile and bring it over so that I can show you what is there. All right, here we go. We're gonna keep going with this unboxing. The first thing on top here is Spanish 1. This is what my ninth grader is gonna be using. So this is a high school level course. 
and we are uh, doing distance learning online with it. Um, if this is something you'd like to know more about, let me know and I can do a review um, of it for you, but I only wanna do that if I have a lot of interest in that. Um, it came with, this is the student textbook. It also came with um, a Spanish English dictionary to use. And then this is the activities manual page. So let's see if I can kind of show you a look inside there. So I know it's not the best lighting, but um, there's the activity manual page for Spanish. So of course, all of the videos that go along with this are online. Um, I did get a video lesson guide as well. And Spanish handouts for um, distance learning. So that is all of our Spanish stuff. Let me set that down. Now on to biology, which is the last thing that we unboxed in our BJU Press um, when we unboxed all of their curriculum. Um, this is meant to be a 10th grade course. I'm having my ninth grader do that. Again, another great thing about homeschooling is we do what works for our kids. And I wanted her to take biology in ninth grade, so we are using the BJU biology course, even though it's meant for 10th grade, you can do that. We can do that because we're homeschooling and we're doing what is best for our kids and for our family. I love that. Um, we are doing, like I said, distance learning. And so the distance learning uses the fourth edition of the biology textbook. I believe they have a new biology textbook out. I could be wrong. So go check their website, but I think there's a new edition out if you were gonna do it on your own. But I like the videos. I like the distance learning uh, because it is so nice to have someone else that knows this material better than I do teaching it to my child. And so uh, this is the biology textbook and uh, it looks like it's got lots of color in there. So that should be a lot of fun. We also got the lab manual and um, the lab manuals are great. They're full of color and they really help our kids to be able to do the activities that are um, assigned to them really easily. It's just all laid out really nicely. Um, she also got the student handouts. And of course, with all the distance learning programs, you get the parent facilitator uh, guide. But again, we're using the online option, so we will be doing, um, I will just be looking at everything online. Now, let me set this down because I'm going to show you the logo science kit that we got. So like I said earlier, the BJU Press biology course was given to us for free in exchange for a review, and I will be reviewing that at the end of the year, so you can keep your eye out for that. That was given to us for free, but I really wanted the Logos Science Kit because I don't know about you, but I have such a hard time gathering science supplies for my kids, especially biology. And so I went ahead and purchased the um, Logos, let me turn it, bring it over here, the uh, Logos uh, BJU Press Biology Logos Science Kit for the fourth edition. Obviously you wanna make sure that you're getting the edition that goes with the edition that you're using. So like I said, I think they have a fifth edition uh, textbook if you're doing it independently. So then you would wanna make sure you got the fifth edition Logos um, Science Kit. Now, one of the cool things that I found out about this is that there is a CD in here um, that we can you can put into your computer. I believe it's a CD. I don't think it's a DVD. I think it's a CD. I'm going to open it, and if I squeal, I'm sorry, um, because there's a dead rat in here. Uh, just the thought of it and the fact that this is on my lap is totally freaking me out. Okay, but I think there's a, um, I think it's a CD in here, and. Um, what I'm excited about about the CD is it has all of the microscope stuff on there. So when my oldest daughter did biology um, many years ago, we used a different curriculum and I, I borrowed a microscope from somebody. And that was a great fun experience for her to be able to look through a microscope and learn how to use a microscope. But I do not have the money and I'm guessing most of you don't have the money to purchase a microscope. And this year that I was not able to borrow that microscope. And so I wanted my daughter to be able to see what you see 
um, under a microscope. And so I was so excited that it comes with um, it comes with a CD that has the microscope stuff on it. So even though we have the slides and if the Lord blesses us somehow by being able to find somebody we could borrow um, a microscope from, we can, we can definitely do that because those slides are in here. But if we can't find a microscope, we can still do the microscope activities because there is that CD. The other great thing about the Logo Science Lab Kit that we have discovered after we used it last year for Earth Science is that there is, um, and I think, I think it's this. I think it's, I think it's this packet. Like I said, I really haven't looked through here very much because I'm a little squirmish about the fact that there's dead animals in here. No! Ah! Um, but in here, what Logos has done is it has taken some of the experiments and activities that our student has to do in um, the BJU Press curriculum, and it has made it more homeschool friendly, more easier for us to do at home. So where some of the activities in the BJU Press material might be meant for a classroom setting, it's going to make it easier for you to do and explain how to modify those activities using the stuff that they have in here to make it a little bit easier to do at home. So I really love that about the Logos Lab Science Kit. I am not gonna open this up a whole lot because I'm really afraid to get to the rat. Or maybe I should. I don't know, do you guys wanna see it? <laughs> do you wanna see what's all in here? Okay, I will go ahead and do this, but please know that I get squirmish about these things. Okay, so this, I already pulled this out, and again, um, I'm, I think this is the, lab manual where um, it tells you how to change things up a little bit for your homeschool. It looks like it also has the CD in there and it has optical lens paper for the microscope as well in the back if you happen to have a microscope. This says this is activity pictures, so I'm not sure what that's about because we haven't done the curriculum yet, but um, if you want to see us do some of these experiments, let me know and maybe I will video those and put them up on YouTube. So we'll see. Looks like there's some magnifying glasses. Um, I'm This looks, it says feather. And uh, so there's feathers, um, shrimp brine. It comes with a whole dissection kit. So there's all kinds of stuff in here for um, helping you with dissection, which I don't know if that sounds very exciting to me or not, but we are going to do it. We are gonna do it. There might be some screaming. If I make videos, there might be some screaming. Um, there's some kind of little vial or a container here. We have Petri dishes. I think that's what these are called. Are these called Petri dishes? Isn't that what these are called? Like we're, I'm trying to remember from my science years where you like grow fungus and stuff in them. Um, those are actually kind of fun and cool to do. So it looks like there is two of those in here. I'm gonna pile all this up. This says cotton swabs and test tubes and toothpicks. And you might be thinking, well, I have toothpicks at home. But wouldn't you know, when you need to use toothpicks, you're out of toothpicks. So I love that everything you need is really in here. Um, I don't, what is this? Okay, at first I was thinking this is the dead animal, but no, I think these are gloves. <laughs> package of gloves. It looks like there's, um, these are plastic cups, but this looks like there's, um, I'm not going to open it up, but I think there's some maybe glass containers or something in here. Let me set this all down. Uh, we've got iodine. What is here? These, oh, these are this prepared slides. So if you want to do the, um, I can't get it open. But if you want to use a microscope, you can. And I know it says right here, press here to open, but I'm almost afraid, oh, there it goes. So they've got the slides in there for you, already prepared, so you can look at those things under the microscope. So that's cool if you do have a microscope. Not all of us have that. Safety goggles, super important. Okay, um, a ruler, which is so funny, because again, you think, we have rulers, we're homeschoolers. We could not find a ruler a couple weeks ago. Nobody could find a ruler, and we have four of them, but nobody could find them. I don't know what this is called, but it comes in the kit. Okay, I'm getting scared, because I'm getting down to the bottom, you guys. I'm afraid of what I'm gonna reach it and touch. Okay, this is different hair. Horse hair, llama hair, and sheep hair. 
Alrighty. Um, just some different syringes and things here. Uh, this looks like it's, um, I don't know, what do you use? I mean, it, it reminds me of what you would test the chemicals in your pool with, but okay, you can see I'm really science oriented. The science was not my thing. Um, we've got sugar cube in here, dialysis tubing, I think is what it says, a balloon, gelatin, sugar cubes, like lots of little things in here. Again, things that you don't want to be running around trying to pick up. Um, we've got some different cellophane, um, some other, it says control discs. I'm not sure what, what is in there. We will discover that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do it. There is, can I show you? This is what's left. There's like this little, this little paper. And then there's some Ziploc baggies. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna do this. Okay, <laughs> guys, I'm getting, I'm getting sick. Okay, look, there's one other thing in here I can pull out first. It looks like they're little glass glass tubes or something. Okay, that's not what you wanted to see though. You wanna see the dissection stuff. And, oh, it's all mushy. Okay, this is something else. This is the dissection tray that um, you would use for dissection. So this is like a little um, thick rubber thing that they can cut on. Do you remember this from biology? All right. I, I'm super, I'm super skirmish about these things. Okay. The bag says, that I'm looking at, says crayfish, grasshopper, perch, and worm. Those are the first things. I'm okay with crayfish, grasshopper, perch, and worm. I actually don't know what a perch is, but I'm... It also says rat. Rat. Like, frog would be okay. I mean, I'd scream at a frog, but a rat? Like, a rat. A frog. I could hold a real life frog in my hand, you know, but I don't like rats. So, okay. I'm going to pick it up. Seriously, you guys, I don't like this kind of stuff. But I'm unboxing this for you. Okay. Oh, a perch is a fish. That's what it is. I'm not a fisherwoman, so. And it stinks. Like formaldehyde. Here is what. Oh my gosh! There's a rat! I can't, okay, can you see? I can't even see, can you see? I can't see, I don't wanna look, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the back. Can you see the rat? It's right there in the table. And it looks like it has white fur. Oh my gosh, I gotta, okay, so now you know what's in here. I'm just gonna, my hands stink. This is going to be a really interesting year. And when it comes to the rat dissection, my husband might have to do that with her. I can't even look at the bag. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that is everything that we got from BJU Press. That is my unboxing. I, I, I'm proud of you if you actually made it through this. I don't even know how long this video is, but there you go. That is what we are using for BJU Press. That is what comes in the Logos Biology Lab Kit. It's got a frog on there, you guys. It should have a frog in here. That would be easier to dissect than a rat. I don't know. What would you rather dissect with your kids? A rat or a frog? I vote for a frog in the perch, the fish. I could do the fish, but oh my God. Okay, so if you want me to do videos, of us doing some of these um, labs from BJU Press Biology, let me know, leave a comment down below, and I will try to video them if there's enough interest. <laughs> you might have some screaming in there because seriously, this box is grossing me out. All right, moms. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully you got a little laugh at my expense. That's okay. And I will see you in another video really soon.